fiddle with it. And yeah. well, whatever you're doing with my 300 seems to be working and impressive. But anyway, that two wheels uh, better than a, better than a 2022 Husqvarna factory Rockstar edition allegedly. Oh yeah. Did we hear this? Uh, no. Actually, I heard the opposite. You did. Yeah. Yeah. From John. Yeah. No. He said mine ran better. Yeah. You, yeah. To you, me, unless he's just blowing smoke. No, that's not what I heard. I heard he said he he didn't like the he didn't like how hard it would hit. He said it was like riding a two fifty. Yeah, it, it he ripped. He said it really it, ripped. He said it ripped. And yeah, yeah. It, you know. Yeah. And he said <laughs> it, he didn't like the rip. Yeah, it blew huh. the, it blew the okay. doors off of his bike. Yeah, yeah. my tune blows the door. It's everybody should get my tune. But that makes it sense. It, it I depends mean, on what you he want. Didn't want, want that. Yeah, he didn't yeah. want that. But yeah, it ripped. Yeah, he it said goes. it ripped, but it wasn't for him. I guess <laughs> yeah. that's but, that's the moral of the story. But it also yeah. chugs really good. Read two two Which, wheels up there. I find that whole thing interesting. Uh, two wheels says I have a 2019 Honda Sierra for 50L, which has known sluggish throttle issues, especially at slower speeds. Uh, I wouldn't describe it to that, but no. Most forums recommend either a Vortex EC or a JD tuner plus an aftermarket exhaust. What are your thoughts? So, what year was the bike? The one you that had, I had here. You had a, a so, X. You had the L, and then you had the 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 X and L, both of them. Yeah, and then there was a two fifty or something Logan's uh, rally bike. Was there the two fifty rally L. right about that time? Yeah, yeah, we had L. all those. They had all it those. Yeah, they had all those things around here. So Jim and I were just talking about this today on those the Hondas. So uh, what are my thoughts are explained in detail on www.dirtbiketest.com. Just search Honda Sierra 450L, and I promise you that the test or some of the modification things will come up. In fact, that it was long enough ago that I don't remember exactly what I said or did, but I'll tell you what I think I did. So the, that's the that's the way to smooth the clutch out. It's the you know it was a really good fix for the clutch, and that was on X or L. But the the L, I wouldn't call it sluggish throttle. I would call it kind of jerky throttle. It's yes. like at low speed, it's it's kind of lean and a little bit surgy. It's the kind of thing that adding just a little bit of fuel will kind of tame down. But oh. you know because of emissions and stuff like that, I'm sure it's running a little bit lean, and it has a has a very very restrictive and very quiet. I wouldn't call it restrictive. It's more a very quiet muffler that the, and when you, there's a certain point when you kind of cross the line with restriction inside of a muffler where it gives that kind of that jerky character because it, it basically, you know, when your exhaust valve opens up, there's a lot of back pressure in there. It just can't, it's not flowing out. You don't have like a tuned exhaust that's literally sucking the, 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 the exhaust gas is out now it's kind of packing and it has to pump it out so it makes the and there's a point where at low low rpms there's enough volume inside the exhaust where it goes and then it sort of plugs up you know it becomes it, it becomes a pump Ooh. so 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 there's there's a couple things there that bike the l is tuned to run with that muffler and run the best it can to to do what it does is it jerky yes and would so the difference between a Vortex ECU or a JD tuner are two different things. The the JD tuner is what we call a piggyback system. So in other words, it, it interrupts the signal that goes to the fuel injector and it alters the the duration of the pulse. So how much fuel and you can make it richer or leaner to to adjust the fueling. The Vortex ECU is a completely different ECU that alters not only the ignition. Uh, not only the fueling, but it also alters the timing, the ignition timing. So they do stuff with both, and you kind of get the maps that it comes with. I think they actually come with ten different maps, and and you can you can kind of pick you can you can pick which one you want, but you can put a switch on it, and you can switch between two. And the Vortex has some capability to kind of adjust the low, medium, and high RPM fueling. In other words, you can make it a little bit richer, a little bit leaner in each one of the maps with a screwdriver, essentially. There's some buttons on the ECU. Sometimes the Vortex ECU will allow you to have a, re a higher rev ceiling. So the Vortex ECU will do a lot more. My issue with them is that they're, like, on all the different tunes, it says for this pipe and this, that, you know... It's never exactly what your system is. So you, you might have to do some individual tuning. 
and you know it it i i've i've had some on my bike that worked pretty good and i've had other ones that were way worse than stock so it just kind of depends on how you have the bike set up personally and what we did on our bike was we put a we put a um a, a piggyback tuner on it we put a, a i believe it was a jd tuner on on that bike and then we also played around with a couple different exhausts we put the x exhaust on which kind of was my favorite because it was it remained quiet you put really, that on the l bike really quiet yeah it's hard to it well you have to bend a tab <laughs> it doesn't bolt right on even though it's exactly the same <laughs> um it was probably the quietest and for like you know real dual sport and keeping quiet and then we put like you know some different um uh, slip-on exhausts on on it and those were those were those were okay you know it just it really depends on on what you want i, I really like how quiet that bike is and so, you know, if you want to go with a full race thing, I think the more you're going to like kind of race type stuff, um, you would lean more towards the vortex, but then you're just kind of opening up this rabbit hole because there's a point very quickly on where you're going to realize, oh, the cam isn't the right cam. You know, you want to have a different cam and then you realize, okay, well, uh, the head probably could be a little bit better and you're just going to start chasing this if you're actually chasing after power because I know what Johnny Campbell does to their race bikes. You know, they start with X's and then they turn them into race bikes and stuff. So, um, yeah, there's lots of different things you can you can do with that, but you can see what we did. And the, and the X and the L respond very similarly, uh, although the ECUs are quite a bit different. Like the where the plugs are in the ECU is actually different. So you can't just take like an X hmm. ECU and plug it into an L. Yeah. I guess that's by design or what? Yeah, so you can't. You can't alter it. There, you know, Honda would get in trouble if they made it easy to alter and modify mm. these things because you know we have that 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 government agency that likes to come after this stuff. Rusty, <coughs> Rusty Shats. Yeah, that sounds a little nasty. Mm -hmm. Long time watcher, first time commenter, riding for twenty years, but off road for the last four years. Why does KTM five hundred EXCF not have a neutral light? This is a dirt bike thing. It's a KTM wait, thing. Wait. Weight too. Oh yeah, because that, that light, there. yeah, that and light. And then there's got to be some sensor pickup put in the bike. They have it. It's in there. There's a sensor in there that knows when it's in neutral. Um, there it. Oh, but KTM is always KTM has always been just their their dual sport bikes. Um, you know, are are very very minimalistic, and you know, you you they have the the least amount of stuff, which is what that type of rider wants rusty needs to come to the class because why are you trying to find neutral under what conditions well he's a commuter with a light 